Greetings to everyone in Jesus' mighty name. I hope you all had a blessed week. And today I'm going to continue with part two of the video I started last week, which was on boasting. So last week's video focused on boasting in terms of vocalizing it or speaking. Today's video is going to focus on boasting in terms of something else that some people may not be aware of is also boasting so i'll be reading today from matthew chapter 23 verses 1 to 13 as i read i want to focus on the scriptures as well about the boasting part so i may not explain every single thing but i'll be focusing or emphasizing on the areas where the boasting was occurring so we have verses 1 is read. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore, whatever they bid you observe, that do and observe. But do not eat after their works, for they say, and do not for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born and they lay them on men's shoulders but they themselves will not move them but to one of their fingers but all their works they do for to be seen of men i want to stop there a little bit all their works everything they do is for a show it's not genuine, it's for a show, right? They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments. So they want to be noticed, right? Verse 6, and love the uppermost rooms at feasts. So they love the highest seats, right? The highest rooms in Feast and the chief seats in the synagogue. So chief is referring to like the best seats. And we know the synagogue back then was the place of gathering where they were going to worship God and so forth in that temple. Continuing. Um, and greetings in the marketplace. But you know what's specific about this greetings? To be called of men, Rabbi rabbi as in teacher but some people say father or master so they love to be greeted but in a specific way using high ranking names and you know as we continue to read this i realized that while i was reading this you know we live in an age and era right now where we have um ministers or pastors could be male and female right in the body of Christ, who basically um, do not like to be called nothing less than where they are in terms of their current rank. So if they are bishop, you can't call them nothing less than a bishop. Right? You can't even make a mistake. Because they'll be like, they will want to put in your place because they believe that um, you are obligated to call them what they desire because they are so boastful they cannot humble themselves or they choose not to rather humble themselves okay this is um nine and call no man your father upon the earth for what is your father which is in heaven okay neither be ye called masters for one is your master in christ this is eleven but he that is the greatest among you, let him be your servant, or shall be your servant. So those that have these high ranks, they ought to be down to earth. They ought to be, should I say, humble. And not just expect people to do things see, for you, and you not also serve people so we as believers in christ we are called to serve no matter how low we are 
how Harry and Tibbs are ranking our position at this point in time, or any point of our lives to come in the future, we ought to be willing to serve, right? So, verses 11 says, no, verses 12, but whosoever shall exhort as into highly praise or lift up themselves shall be a beast, means to be humiliated or humble. And he that humble himself shall be exalted, shall be lifted up, shall be elevated. Right? Verse 13. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For he shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For he neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that they enter in. So these scribes and Pharisees live a life of show of boastfulness of being high and mighty and they obviously are not leading those who are following them down the right path because they themselves are not living that life to enter into heaven you can't be boastful come on so basically last week i dealt with boasting in terms of speaking vocalizing boasting about the future and the scripture also indicated that was proverbs that um that a stranger bo um boasts about you speak highly or praise you right and not yourself right so we just have to be cautious about how we conduct ourselves especially as believers in christ if you don't care about how you live your life this video is not for you but if because at the end of the day this is going to apply to anybody it don't matter if you believe in god if you don't believe in god if you boast yourself and you keep boasting yourself one day you'll be humiliated and if you humble yourself there's a day You'll be exalted. But we can, as the Bible says, we can give honor to whom honors you. And we can also, um, what's the other one? We can boast on God and talk about testifying. It's like boasting on the goodness of God. So I hope that this bless your heart and that you all know that boasting can occur not just by speaking, but by our actions. But if we are invited to a ceremony or gathering and we choose to go up to the highest seat and next, next thing that seat is reserved for someone else and then an usher come and pull us back down, you feel embarrassed, right? So it's best to take like the back seat or just keep, you know, it's better for them as the scripture also says, you will see that next week. Let them um, offer you to go off further, right? So, we just got to use the wisdom in this life. And I hope that this blessed the heart of you will ever listen. You will take care. Bye.